All right, we're going to take a look at NXRA here. So here's another new one that we're going to cover and see how it does. Now, going from the low here to the high here on the Bitfinex weekly chart, you can see we're hitting the 0.5 perfectly there at about 12. And we also have the top from back here, which this is where the FIB comes into play, going from the high here back in April of 2023 to the low. This kind of just went sideways forever. And you can see it is respecting the Fibonacci levels to a degree. So this is what we're going with here. So we're sitting right on this 0.5, right above that top. So I would say as long as you hold here or even down to the 11 penny mark, um, I would say this thing should bounce from there. So potentially you could drop another 10%, but any lower than that, then you can see you're going to drop all the way back down to this 786 here at 91 and potentially drop all the way. If you fall lower than 11, two, you're going to drop about 28% here. So. We'll see if this former high holds. You can see it held support all back here. So it is a strong support level. So we'll see what happens here. And if we get a bounce and if we stay on the 0.5 where we are right now, of course, to get over or the next resistance rather is an 18% move back up to 14.7. Then the 1414 at 17, a 35% move. And then that 1618 here again at 20 cents and i would say once we get back over that level once again at the 1618 uh it should end up holding we should start moving higher from there uh, but we'll just have to kind of see what happens here uh, but those are some levels to kind of watch now for as how high this thing can go of going from the only fib we have on the chart that we could draw here um, this thing's probably going to end up coming all the way to the top of the fibonacci at the 4236 you can see that is a 24 percent move up to about 200 or two dollars and 80 cents rather so hopefully that helped a little bit with nxra and we'll leave it at that so with that being said none of this is financial advice thanks for watching good luck also notice on the chart here i forgot to mention it is making higher highs and higher lows so really that 0.5 is what you want to hold or you're going to end up coming back down to this level here and then you can see the support level would be flat here and you would no longer be making that bullish market structure. So if you can hold over that 0.5 at about, what was it, 12.5, um, you may get a nice bounce out of here, keeping that market structure intact, of course. So once again, none of this is financial advice. Thanks for watching. Good luck. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.